I'll make sure your dad behaves himself tonight, okay? Okay. <laughs> Allie, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, questions for Allie. What was the emotion like before the match with the storyline and production for you? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone saw me cry. That was that was cool. But um, yeah, I was just completely overwhelmed with just joy and like so much support. I'm gonna cry again talking about it. But um, yeah, it's just really great to see everyone. And I love the soccer. But yeah, it was just amazing. And Husker Nation so sweet, and it means so much to me. Did you know that they were going to bring you that ball over there? No, I didn't. <laughs> that was so cute. And they wrote little notes on it. And it just means the world to me. I love them. And then during the match, after a kill, I mean, usually whenever it would be another USC player, there wasn't any applause. When you'd have a kill, there'd be, you know, a, some applause there yeah. from the crowd. I mean, even when there's a point against the Oscars, yeah. that emotion also get to you as well? Or, you know, comfortable and collected up there on the court? Yeah. I mean, once you get in the game, you kind of got to lock in. but. Um, I definitely noticed that, and I just really appreciated it. And um, yeah, it's just great to have that support all the time. How, how difficult was it? I mean, you talk about that emotion before the game, but you came out swinging fairly well and played at a high level. I mean, how how did you go about locking in? <laughs> locking. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we got to do. You know, stuff happens outside of volleyball, and you just kind of once it comes to game time, you got to focus. And I think that's something that I've kind of practiced and gotten used to. So. Um, yeah, I think just when it comes down to it, you gotta lock in for your team. Were you surprised at the amount of signs throughout the crowd with your name on them? Yeah, that was so cute. Like, it made me so emotional just walking in. It was just so many little girls and people just having my back and being so supportive after I transferred. It's just so incredible and like, unreal. What does it say about a place like this where, you know, in the era of the transfer portal, if you go back to your old school, sometimes they can be used as relentless. Mm -hmm. It just, what does that say about this place? Yeah, I mean, they always say there's no place like Nebraska. Everyone's just beyond supportive. And um, yeah, I think just being here over the years, that's something I've noticed and it's always been the same. And you don't see that at other, at other schools. And um, I was, when I transferred, I was like wondering about those things, but I never really realized how much support I was actually gonna get. It was overwhelming. Like I knew they'd be supportive, but I didn't realize how incredible it truly really would be. And that just says a lot about the state. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, just um, with the ovation that you got um, tonight, like what goes through your head? It felt like it took forever, just how long people were coming for you. Yeah, I mean, it just, I'm so grateful. Like, I love this program, and I'm just so grateful that I got to be a part of it. Um, obviously, I, I still graduated from here, so I'm still always going to be a Husker. But um, yeah, I mean, just coming, it feels like home here. And um, it's something that's really special, and I just love the people here. What was it like playing here as a visitor after having those fans behind your back the whole time for three years? Yeah, like it, like I said, it felt like home, honestly. Even though I was playing for another team, it just, I never felt uncomfortable or unwelcomed, and that's just something that the state always brings, just so much support. Were you able to, go ahead. Was there anything in town you got to do that you wanted to while you're back? I know it's a short travel time, but. Yeah, I know, we're here for like 24 hours, but um, yeah, I got to see the friends, and um, I had dinner with my family, and. Just got to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in a while, so that was just really amazing. Were you able to give your teammates an extra little edge on, on, on scouting in comparison to Ohio State earlier in, or in other previous opponents because you've been with Nebraska's players for the past three years in comparison to going up against Ohio State earlier this week? And I was like, yeah, you know, not, not as much experience knowing exactly how they are as a team. Yeah, I think obviously it's nice having that experience, especially going against your old team, but I think ultimately we're trying to just focus on ourselves and play our game, and I think that is something that's just most important when you're playing other teams. Final questions for Ali. We talked to Lexi on earlier last week, and she said that when she watched you play on television, you just seemed to be more happy and play with joy too. I mean, is that a correct assessment? Do you feel like you're playing free and enjoying your role with USC? Yeah, I mean, it's a new opportunity, and um, obviously being a part of a new program is fun, and I think just both programs I was so grateful to be a part of, and I was just happy both ways. What went well tonight hitting against your former teammates? Um, we just kind of ran our system and um, focused on our game and do what we do every day in practice. Um, West Coast Volleyball is very different, so it's a different style for sure. So we kind of focused on that and just played our game, obviously. Um, losing 3-0 is not the best, but um, yeah, we're still good. We know what we need to do moving forward, and we're excited. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you.